Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Here is a new episode of the Carmelo Anthony My Career series, and in this episode, we're starting off in the new season. Obviously, after last episode, we uh, we had free agency, and we decided to stay with the Denver Nuggets, um, just because I feel like it's a little bit more realistic. Obviously, in the last episode, we had the choice to go to the Knicks, the Lakers, the Heat, uh, the Bulls, which a lot of you guys were disappointed I didn't go to the Bulls, but that just lets me know that after this season, maybe I'll go into free agency again and head over to the Bulls or the Knicks or the Heat or just a new team. Um, but as, as of now, Carmelo Anthony, he rocks a new hairstyle. He's rocking um, a little bit short. He had a little bit of haircut. So he, he has the uh, the shorter dreadlock, not dreadlocks, cornrows. Um, as you can see, his, his cornrows are a little bit shorter, but um, obviously as the season progresses, they'll get a little bit longer. So I can change his cornrows up throughout the season. And he also got some new tattoos. He's now rocking two sleeves on either arm. Um, obviously you can't get the exact same sleeves as what Melo has in real life, so this will have to do. But uh, let's hop into the first game of the season up against James Harden and the Houston Rockets. What's up, man? Good to see you. How's the family? Is she good? Yeah, she's good. They're all good. Nice knowing you have family to have your back all the time. For sure. Got to keep the support system in place. Make a big difference over a long season. Good luck tonight, man. Thanks, man. Hey, you know we're taking this one, right? Not a chance, Free. So, I took Gallinari's spot in the starting lineup, and as you can see, I've earned a new trophy because I'm a starter now. It's a new season, I'm a starter, and I'm rocking the number seven. I showed you guys in the last episode, but yeah, I'm rocking the new number seven because uh, we did lose JJ Hickson. Uh, he went to the Brooklyn Nets in this my, in this uh, my career series. So, yeah, JJ Hickson, unfortunately, Denied. he's not on the Denver Nuggets anymore. But uh, as you can see, I'm rocking number seven now. And I'm actually playing a little bit of defense right now. Because uh, you know Carmelo Anthony, he's not really known for his defense. But in this in this My Career series, I'm not going to make him exactly like Carmelo Anthony. Where I get like two assists, eight rebounds, 30 points. You know, I'm, I'm going to play a little bit of defense here and there. I'm going to get some assists. And uh, it's just going to be like a really fun My Career series. As you can see, I get a quick steal right there. Feeding it, feeding it up to Mudio, who gets the quick slam dunk to go. And uh, if you guys weren't paying attention or you just don't really know, we didn't win too many games in the first season. I'm not even going to lie. We lost a lot of games. And actually, as you can see, look at my stat line right there. I got six rebounds already, three minutes left in the, almost four minutes left in the, in the first quarter, which is pretty crazy. But as you can see, I rattled that one in. That was, that was like 50 bounces and it finally went in. But uh, yeah, um, I, I take a nice cut right there. But like I was saying, we didn't win many games in the first uh, in the first season, which is uh, something that we got to try and improve on as a team. And uh, I asked you guys, I think it was a while ago, man. It was probably like first or second episode of this series. But I asked you guys, um, is there a way that you can, you know, bring teammates down to your team? Like, can I bring um, not teammates? What am I talking about? Can I bring like other other teams players? Denied. down to Denver. Like, can I ask uh, Dwayne Wade, or can I ask LeBron James, can I ask Dwight Howard, James Harden, any player, Steph Curry, to come down to Denver? Is there a, is there a way that you can do that this year? Because I remember last year you could, I think. Um, I remember watching Chris Smoove. He brought, like, Dwight Howard down to New York or something like that. Or maybe they just got him um, in free agency. I don't really know. But um, can you guys comment down below if you know a way? And Because uh, I don't know if you can do it this year. I know that last year you could. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I don't know if you can this year. So that's a bit annoying. Hopefully you can. Because I think that we need to get some someone down here. Even if it's not, like, a superstar player. Um... I mean, just a player, because, you know, Melo, when he was on Denver, he had some pretty good teammates. Carmelo Anthony, when he was on Denver, he had Allen Iverson for a little bit. Um, obviously, AI wasn't 76 to AI, but he was still a pretty good player for a few years in Denver. Um, and then he also had a pretty good JR Swish. We all know about JR Smith and that stupid diamond card in my team. Oh my goodness, what is 2K doing right now? Well, through the first two quarters, at least, turnovers have been a big issue. What are they doing that is causing you so much trouble? Uh, well, it's been a high-pressure game, both in transition and in half for sets. We'll fix it, though. We just need to play a little more steady and make our passes a little more care. So going back to the My Team Talk, what is 2K doing, okay? I don't know what these guys are doing as my phone goes off real quick, but I don't know what 2K is doing. Bringing players like Louis Scola, J.R. Smith, 
Brandon Jennings to diamond players in 2K. Like, I understand. Oh, Jesus. Look at that dunk by Trevor Reeds. I'm going to have to show a replay of that. Nurkic got posterized. I tried to come in for the for the block behind him, but yeah, I, I didn't get that. I pretty much got dunked on right there, but I won't even lie. But um, yeah, no, seriously. What is 2K doing with those My Team cards? I don't know. Um, I thought it was a joke after that Brian Scalabrini Amethyst thing, but these guys... These guys have no chill at 2K, man. Louis Scola? You're telling me Louis Scola is a higher rated player than Allen Iverson even on Denver? I don't know about that, 2K. Let me know your thoughts on what you think 2K is up to with this My Team. Because, uh, yeah, these My Team cards, they it's just stupid. Like, I, it's just dumb, honestly. Brandon Jennings? You know I don't like Brandon Jennings for the guys that have been subscribed to my channel for a while now. I'm not a very big fan of Brandon Jennings, and this man is rated higher than LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, every player in the goddamn NBA this year. Like, I don't know about that. That's just stupid. That's all. That's just ridiculous. So uh, anyway, let's get back on track. It's the fourth quarter. I'm grabbing this rebound right there, and that gives me my first double double in the M. Just kidding. I have nine rebounds. I was getting a little bit excited right there. <laughs> I almost get a turnover, but now I'm in the post up against James Harden. You know this man doesn't play defense, so he has to foul me right there. And I'm going to the line for two, getting pretty hyped on James Harden. James Harden's not too happy about that, as you can see right there. I make my first free throw, giving me 20 points and making it 21 points right there. So I'll take that. We, uh, we have a two point lead right now. Do I hell. Oh my goodness, settle down, man. You just posterized one of my teammates. That's not cool, Dwight Howard. He gets a rebound right there, kicking it up to Ariza, down to James Harden, who lays it in. And suddenly, the Houston Rockets are up by five points. So we have to come back right now. We have to come back. I feed it up to Will Barton, who feeds me. I'm going inside. I miss the layup. I get my rebound. That's the double-double. And I put it back in for two. I get some fans right there. And yeah, I get my first double-double in the NBA, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool right there. 23, 10, and 6. As a stat line, I gotta try and get my scoring up a little bit right there. So Moutier gets the steal, and he's going all the way for the easy slam done. So uh, yeah, I mean it's only a three-point game, five minutes left. We can come back in this game and hopefully get a win. Look at Melo! Sit down! Oh my goodness, Carmelo Anthony! Don't do Dwight Howard like that! Whew! Melo! Oh, that was insane. I was going so hyped when I got that slam done. That was insane. I was like, Melo, you got no chill right now. I know you're dead for Melo. I didn't know you had that in you. But uh, yeah, four point game. Four minute 20 left in this game. Look at that. Don't flop. But I miss. That would have been so sick if I got that step back move to go after that flop right there by Ty Lawson. Former Denver Nugget player, Ty Lawson. But yeah. The game uh, not looking good right now. We're down seven. We finally get a miss to go because these guys were on a huge run, the Houston Rockets. They're up seven points with about one minute, 45 seconds left. I go all the way and I miss the goddamn layup. How do I miss that layup? Like, I'm Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, Moutier gets to still. Look at that. This guy, uh, Moutier, he has really good handles. I might, I might have to pick this guy up in my GM one time. I mean... He just has crazy handles, especially in uh, my career. I don't know what's up with him. He always does this in and out move that, that gets defenders slipping and sliding, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're, we're back in this game. It's only a three-point game. 40 seconds left in this game, and then the dagger comes right there by Patrick Beverly, making it a six-point game. I take a three, and I miss this shot. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the game right there. I get subbed out. I don't know why I get subbed out, but I get subbed out. And uh, we end up on a pretty good kind of stat line. It's not too bad. A double-double. Um, we did lose the game, unfortunately. So that's not the best. But uh, yeah, the stat line was all right. 27 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 blocks, and 2 steals. I uh, I got a limit up on the turnovers, though. I got to limit my turnovers. As you can see, I had 4 turnovers, which is actually pretty good for me, to be honest. I get a lot of turnovers. And Moody got that double-double, as you can see right there. He also had 4 steals, which is pretty good. But uh here is an interview. I'll leave it up to the to these guys interviewing Camilo Anthony. I'm out. Leave a like if you guys want to see the next episode. Peace. So we take this, the fact you're here, you're wearing a Nuggets jersey, that you're going to at least be here for a while, or how long do you expect to be here? Come on, Chris.
I'm here, man. I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm here today. <clears throat> you know whatever the future holds, it holds. Um, like Masai said, I'm not you know I'm a, I'm not gonna discuss what me and him talked about. It was a good conversation. Actually, it was a great conversation. So I'm here today. Practice starts tomorrow. Um, yeah, and we go from there. At the end of the day, I think the goal is to win the championship. Your goal is the championship. Are you worried that the Nuggets will have a lot of salary cap space next season? <clears throat> my, my, I'm, I only can focus on right now and at the moment, you know, and, and that's starting tomorrow. And the goal is, you know, to win the championship.